Hello everyone, I am Diane Southerd, your DNA guide, with a quick tip from MyHeritage DNA. This tool called the Centimorgan Explainer, that's what CM stands for, is Centimorgan, is meant to help you find what I call the generation of connection between you and another DNA match. So your generation of connection is that generation in which you and your match share a common ancestor. So it tells you how far back in their tree and how far back in your tree you would need to go before you run into your common ancestor. So there's two ways you can access this tool. The first is by going here to my heritage, go under DNA tools, and then you're going to see it right here under CM explainer. Click explore and you're here at the tool. So I'm going to enter an amount of DNA that I might share with my DNA match. Let's say it's 79 centimorgans. I'm going to enter my age and the age of my match. Now my heritage does provide you the age or the approximate age of your DNA matches. You can see that in their profile. So then I'm going to say submit. And right here at the top in this nice purple color, they're going to give me their best estimate, their best guess at our relationship. And notice how they're writing it. It's in terms of my parent. Why? Because I put my age as less than the age of my match, 70. So my match is actually a generation older than me, the same age in general as my parents. So all of these relationships are going to be given in terms of my parent, because sometimes that's easier to explain than talking about removed relationships, which can, which can get really tricky. So here at the top, again, that information is displayed in this nice table, but I feel like the best way to get a feel for this is to look at the picture. So scrolling all the way down, they draw out this really nice tree for you to explain to you the relationships that you may have with this DNA match. Now, any relationship here in purple could be your relationship, but if it's a match you don't know your relationship to, you should start with the highest probability relationship and then work your way around from there. So if we look right here, you can see that 30% likely that this person is my parent's second cousin. My parent's second cousin. Okay, so this chart shows me that our connecting ancestor, if we start with me over here on the far left, we go to my parents, grandparents, great grandparents, up here to the two times great grandparents. That tells me that this match could, should, and could connect with me at this two times great grandparent level. So it's really informative to just take advantage of this picture Think about these ancestors in your mind and estimate when you could possibly be connected to your match. And then it's time to do genealogy. You have to do the record and paper-based research to figure out how you might connect to your match. So this tool is easy to access again from this top DNA menu. Another way to find this tool is if you go to DNA and then click on DNA matches. I'm gonna switch tabs here so you can see that. This is my cousin, June. And so here's her profile page. So what I did to get to this page is I clicked on that DNA matches and then I clicked on June from that list of DNA matches. So you can see right here at the top, it's going to give me our possible relationships again in that nice table format. But if I want to see more, I need to click on this show more relationships plus diagram button. And it's going to show me a few more relationships and then that nice table again for me to evaluate how am I related to June. So it's time for you to dive in. Go play around with this tool. You can't break it. Click on everything and see if you can start to investigate your generation of connection with one of your DNA matches using this new tool from MyHeritage. Thanks for joining me. This is Diane Southerd, your DNA guide, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss any other updates of exciting tools from our DNA testing companies.